When you ask anyone who falls interest with PvP game modes on how to be good, the best reply you can possibly get is practice and experience. BG offers countless games with a common theme, namely PvP, standing for player versus player. However, because of how developers handle the most popular PvP game that BG possesses, it winds down to a controversy that we all know existed but not often talked about. For starters, runes are collectible emblem-like items that you can obtain from chests in the game Bed Wars. Each rune gave a specific buff depending on the rune type that would always activate in-game. They are divided into four different types of colors, red, blue, yellow, and purple. In this video, we aren't going to talk about what each rune does, but rather, we will be talking about the mentioned forgotten controversy about runes. Given that PvP is centered around being better and smarter over the other player to win, runes do not follow the same analogy. Likewise, skill is needed in game modes such as the original Bedwars where there is no such thing as runes. These emblem-like items are predetermined before the game, meaning that a player can have more powerful runes than the other and there is no such way the flow of the game can influence that predetermined amount of runes. For many OG players that played BG Bedwars ever since runes were added, they did not like it for the most part. They believed that Bedwars is becoming unfair, and the essence of having skill in BG Bedwars is slowly going away because of this such update. But eventually, People cannot do anything about it, but to accept and get used to the update. If you do not know how much runes change BG Bad Wars, let me put into perspective. An attack rune called Leeching is considered the most popular attack rune you can use. And its function is similar to lifesteal, or basically it. Even if you fight alone versus 12 other people that do not have this rune, as long as you are hitting someone, you will never die, as you heal back most of the damage they will be dealing back to you. Combined with your armor pieces and a set of high level protection runes, you are basically unstoppable unless from the void. And um, that thing, right? On top of that, Yellow runes or shura give you 20 HP every time you kill someone by chance. Whether it's 7%, 5%, having a lot of these runes add up and you will certainly get 20 HP per kill consistently. Now picture that. The addition of runes really change how bad words in BG work. Some may like it, some may not, but why? PG devs are vague and unclear about why they added runes in the first place. They just randomly came up with its concept but fear not, I will going to theorize about it all. When you compare BG Bedwars to Minecraft Bedwars, there is a fine line drawn between the two. First off, the texture differences, the feel, the players, and all. Back in the days, developers need to find a way to make their game stand out from MC Bedworks. But ask yourself, why would you want a retextured version of something that literally adds nothing new? Kinda boring, isn't it? Well, that might be the time for the developers to add their own pinch of creativity in their creation and came up with roots. But this creativity is not as good as what you think it might be. The thing is, 
runes aren't that easy to put your hands on. You need to collect keys from winning matches and using those keys to unlock chests in the lobby and there you only have the chance to get a rune, not even a good one. The way that the devs design runes and how you get them is an illusion. An illusion that many if not most people fall for. They conveyed runes as a necessity rather than a choice. So if you want to win matches, you needed a decent amount of runes. You wouldn't always win without them and in fact, many people deem it almost impossible without using runes and winning all matches that you play. Indeed, it is possible but not probable. This little illusion is what tricked players into playing more, putting more time than ever to grind runes and be rewarded with ranks and leaderboards. Let me repeat, the players. Now let's proceed to the players. How were they affected? A large group of people or players shall we say, did not like this change. This made Bedwars unfair, not fun, and the usual pay to win game. Even other people did quit because of this and move on to popular games with Minecraft being the most reasonable. Others dodged playing games of Bedwars and treated like it didn't exist and played Egg Wars instead. Although Egg Wars is not that big of a hit as Bedwars, it is way more simpler, traditional, and more lean to competition and strategy. Some even wish runes didn't exist and play Bedwars like a game of Egg Wars, which have no runes and a fair PvP game mood. And it just boils down to preference and opinion. What are your opinions on the situation of runes? Do you like runes in the first place or do you hate them and wish they never existed? As always, let me know what you think in the comment section. It's me again. Peace out. Hey, if you like my content or enjoy and find it interesting in any way, consider subscribing. It is there waiting for you and it promise it won't let you down. See ya!